Hey folks, this is Dr. K with just a quick video to show you how to upload your project and uh, just talk a little bit more about uh, some of the requirements. Okay, so I've completed my project, more or less, and um, over here you see the folders and the files. So you, the WAR file that you're going to upload is under Build and Libs. Uh, and you can see there's an exploded folder, but you don't want that one. You just want the one that says your name, bookstoreview.war. Okay, so if you set up your project right, uh, this is what you should have. Okay, so now I can go to uh, my browser. Uh, this is my completed bookstore view project. And I'm going to go to this archive upload. And it should work now. Okay, so there it is. Uh, I'm going to type my uh, username here. And uh, my username, your username, is going to be the name before the at sign in your vt.edu email address. Okay, so mine is going to be Greg WK because my vt.edu email is Greg WK at vt.edu. And the password is going to be the last four digits of your nine digit Virginia Tech ID. Okay, and if you don't know what your nine digit Virginia Tech ID is, look on your uh, Virginia Tech ID card. Okay, it should have it over there. This is not the last four digits of your social security number. This is the last four digits of your Virginia Tech numeric ID. Okay, so mine, if I can remember mine, I just type this in. Um, okay, that's not it. So, okay, let's try this one. Okay, so that's good. So, uh, here we have, please upload your WAR file. Your student name is, then it gives you the name. It's, it's in a database. Uh, the current active projects are, and you can see there's just one. Uh, this is project two. This is a view project. Therefore, your file name should be, so mine should be Dr. K Bookstore View dot war. So I'm going to choose my file. Uh, okay, and it's giving me some photographs I recently took. That's not it. I'm going to go to here. And I'm going to go to Developer, uh, Idea Projects and CS5244 and Dr. K Bookstore View. I'm going to go to Build Libs and there it is. So if I open that up, now it's going to check that that name is valid. All right, when you uh, hit the upload button. In this case, it should be. Okay, Dr. K Bookstore View .war. Upload that. Okay, so new file, Dr. K Bookstore View .war, created at OptomCat WebAx. This is on the, uh, the CS5244 server. Uh, and now's the hard part. Now you have to wait five minutes. So you wait five minutes, uh, and then you can actually view your project. So while we're waiting, uh, let me do this. This is my local uh, bookstore. Because uh, you can see that this is localhost 8080 Dr. K Bookstore View slash index.jsp. So let me talk about some of the requirements. Uh, I went through the design project, project one, and I would say the main thing is I didn't really take off a lot of points um, for design. In fact, most people got the, the maximum number of points unless there was something a little bit confusing. So uh, 
<clears throat> the main thing I would say, and most of you know this already, is you might need to simplify your design. Okay, so uh, you know, use your design in project one as inspiration, but simplify it. If you have, um, <clears throat> excuse me, if you have bestsellers here, uh, plus, um, you know, mysteries plus science fiction. I mean, just pick one of those things. All right, and uh, just have a few books. Okay, uh, if you have you know ten categories, simplify it to you know four or five or six categories. Okay, so uh, keep it simple. That's going to you know save you time and keep your project manageable. You can always add more books. You can always add more categories. Uh, make sure that when you shrink this down to 800 pixels, this is about 800 pixels right here. I I'm not going to be, you know, looking exact, uh, but uh, make sure when you shrink it down, it still looks good. When you expand it, it still looks good. If you want to know exact pixels, you can always open up the developer tools. And now when you move this, you can see it's telling you the pixels up here. In fact, you can move this also. And uh, right there, that's about 800, that's 808 pixels. Okay. So you can, yeah, just move that. Uh, that's about 800 pixels there and 1400 pixels. <clears throat> is somewhere around there. So uh, that's kind of the area I'm looking at. I'm not going to open up the developer tools and, and be exact. Uh, I'm just going to say, okay, that's about 800. Uh, there's about 1400. And just make sure it looks good at uh, both widths. So that's for the uh, index page. If I go to my categories page, all right, so here's the category, here's the drop down menu. Uh, and you should have something that, you know, you can hover over. Uh, it should probably turn into a hand, just like it does with uh, a link, okay, when you hover over your categories. And uh, when you just move that cursor over them, they should probably uh, change a different color just to let the user know what category they are on. Then when you click on one of these categories, it's going to take you to the category page. Uh, and for now, these categories are, um, oh, you can see I actually did implement, uh, if you hover over these, it slightly changes that. That's a good thing to implement. Um, but I can't change this from mystery. In fact, if you look up here in the address bar, you can see that I actually clicked on the fantasy uh, category so um, uh, but it came out mystery that's because you're only implementing one category page right now and this is not dynamic this is uh, pretty much static right now but I would like to see not only should it take you to the category page so category JSP but I would like to see the correct parameter in there so I clicked on fantasy and I have the uh, fantasy parameter up here in the address bar. Uh, that's a pretty easy thing to do. Right now, there's just a category page. It's going to ignore that parameter. All right. So, um, you know, same thing. If I click on uh, categories here again, so if I click on classics, you can see that that parameter actually changed. Uh, and you know, these should probably work too. If I click on romance here, the parameter changes. Uh, but what I, the main thing I wanted you to show you about this page was that when I make it smaller, you can see that the books wrap. Okay, so that is, uh, you know, one of the main things I'll be looking for. Did you implement wrapping correctly? And it should not be hard to do that. Um, that's just a flex box. Uh, and uh, there's a, there's an attribute for uh, for making sure those things wrap. Um, while I'm on this page, I should mention that 
uh, not only do you have the picture of the book, you have information and you know, make sure the title, the author and the price, you know, make sure they're styled differently. Um, so I don't want to see like them styled all the same. Uh, it's hard, harder to read that way. So, so make sure you distinguish those somehow. You can see that I have a uh, add to cart buttons on all my books, which you should. Uh, and you can see that at least one of my books has a read now button and uh, the others, and at least one of my books does not have a read now button. Okay, so I'd like to see a case where you have a read now button and a case where you don't. Um, and part of the requirement is to have at least four categories and to have at least four books. Okay, so let me see if there's anything else I wanted to say. Oh yes, um, so padding. Um, the, the easiest thing to do with padding is make sure you have padding everywhere, even if it's just a little bit. So, uh, look, this book box here is not right up against the header, all right? It's not right up against this second book box. Uh, the book has some padding around it. It's not right uh, on the edge of the book box. Now, if you don't have like a white background there, it's not going to matter that much. Um, but, you know, nothing should be right up against the edge of uh, anything else, okay? Uh, including the category buttons. So don't cram these category buttons um, together with no padding between them. Uh, let me go back to my, and remember you can click on the logo or the text logo and it should take you back to the index page. Um, there's padding between these books. Uh, there's padding in the footer. This footer, this copyright symbol is not right up against the edge here. Uh, these are not right up against the top. So uh, this icon, this, uh, the search icon is not right up against the search bar. So, you know, when in doubt, put padding. Um, the other thing is a couple of people, people asked me about the logo versus text logo. You should have both. You should have a both a logo and a text logo. They should not be the same thing. Um, you know, some people say, well, my text, my logo is text. If you really think it just looks awful design wise, uh, make sure you know, you can submit the same thing. I'm kind of hesitant to say that because usually it's very rare that, um, you know, you shouldn't have a logo and a text logo. Um, but it, I guess this goes for anything. If you violate one of the design principles I talked about, um, mention it in your, uh, mention it in your Canvas submission. And I may say, okay, I'll, I'll let you violate. Your page looks really good as it is. Um, you know, I'll let you violate it. Or I might say, um, no, please have both a logo and a text logo. Um, I, I think you can do it and still make your page look good. Um, you know, same thing with the padding. I mean, I have seen, uh, I mean, pretty much padding everywhere. Uh, the one place that I know some students in the past have put these categories you know right up against each other uh, but have put kind of like a, a bold line in between the categories um, and sometimes that doesn't look bad uh, but again if you're going to violate that principle of uh, uh, you know of everything having padding uh, let me know in your canvas submission Okay, let me see. I've got a list here. Make sure I covered everything. Simplify the design. Put padding everywhere. Make sure everything's readable. Don't have like green, slightly off green text on a green background. Uh, that's not readable. And don't have red text on a back, uh, black background. Um, uh, very hard, especially for some people to read. Uh, yeah, the book info, logo versus logo text, category drop-down menus. Uh, okay, I think that's pretty much it. Um, so let me go now and see if I can actually load my page. 
on the server. So here's, remember, it said the file was uploaded successfully. Uh, certainly been more than five minutes. So let me go ahead and type in uh, the server. And let's see, it should be Dr. K Bookstore View. Okay, and that should take me. And there it is. So this is now on the server, and you can see it's uh, yeah, pretty much the exact same thing. Click on a category, takes me to the category page. Uh, and in fact, um, this is public, so you should be able to just go to this address and um, uh, see my bookstore. Okay. Uh, the last thing I just noticed this, I might as well mention it. Um, this should work regardless of whether I type in this index.jsp or if I just type in uh, the slash after, after view. Okay, so if I type in this, it should work also. Okay, that's it. I hope this helps you uh, understand the requirements and understand how to upload your web archive. I'll talk to you later.